Okay, this video is going to go over the homework solutions for the 5-3, or actually the 5-4 homework, but it did include part of 5-3. So in the beginning, um, when you're doing the calculator portion, you first, let's say we do 75. We're going to do the sine of 38 degrees and 45 minutes. So on the calculator... find my calculator here we go we would type that in so let me zoom this out we would type that in by doing the sign and then 38 second apps menu is where the angle is go to degrees 42 second apps menu goes back to the single tick and hit enter and you get that point six two five two four two seven for number 77, it's secant, so we have to do 1 divided by cosine 13. Go back to that second apps menu, get your degree symbol. 15 second apps, get the single tick mark. Enter, and there's that 1.027348 is how it finally rounded. Cotangent for number 79, 1 divided by tangent. 183 second apps degrees 48 second apps single tick mark and there's the 15.055723 is how it would round for 87 you're doing one divided by cotangent so it's actually just tangent 23.4 and there's that 0.432 now for 91 and 93, they give you the trig function and you're looking for the angle. So we hit the inverse buttons. So I'm going to do one, or sorry, second tangent to get tan negative one, 1 1.4739716, enter, and there's my angle, and then cotangent. Okay, sorry about that. So for the cotangent one, we're doing second tangent and then one divided by 1.2575516. And I get that 38.4915. This is rounded to eight zero. Okay, so let me drag these off to the side and let's focus in on solving the right triangle. So for number nine, the first thing we wanna find is angle B. So I can do 90 minus, and I would do 36 degrees in 20 minutes, and I get B, 53 degrees and 40 minutes. Then I always wanna stick with what's given to me at the beginning. So I've got angle A, and I've got side C. If I wanna find side A, that would be opposite and hypotenuse. So sine of 36 degrees, 20 minutes, equals opposite which is a over the hypotenuse which is 964 and then we want to multiply both sides by that 964 so let's type this in the calculator I would get 964 times let me retake that 964 times the sine of 36 go to second apps back to the degree and then 20 minutes, second apps, single tick mark, hit enter, and I get that 571. This one is just rounded to uh, the whole number, but if you had kept decimal points, obviously it would be 571.2 or 571.15, depending on the how you rounded that. Then for B, I'm now using again, still what they gave me, and then, so I'd get the angle A, Side B is adjacent and the hypotenuse is 964. So now I'm doing cosine. Cosine of 36 degrees and 20 minutes equals adjacent, which is B, over 964. And then I want to multiply both sides by that 964. So in the calculator, I'm going to type in 964 times the cosine of 36 degrees and 20 minutes. And I get that 576.5, which in here is rounded to 7, sorry, not 576, 776, which on the uh, solutions is rounded to 777. 
Okay, so now let's set up number 11. Number 11, I have angle N and I have obviously angle P, so I'm gonna find angle M. And then I have side M, but I need N and P. M can be found by subtracting that 51.2 from 90, and that's where that 38.8 degrees comes. And then I wanna use what's originally given to me, so angle N, side M, if I wanna go for N, that's gonna be opposite and adjacent. So I'm gonna do the tangent of 51.2 equals opposite, which is N, over adjacent, 124. And then I multiply 124 on both sides, type that into the calculator and I get that N is equal to 154.22, which again over here is rounded to the nearest whole number. Then if you wanna find P, okay, again, we're still using N and side M. So this is now adjacent and hypotenuse, which is cosine. So cosine of 51.2 equals 124 over P. Now the number's in the top. So the shortcut is to take that number and divide it by the other side, I'd get 124 divided by the cosine of 51.2. And I get P equals 197.89, that's gonna round to that 198. Now if you didn't do the shortcut, remember I can take cosine 51.2 equals 124 over P. I can put that left side over one, I can cross multiply and then I can divide. It still gives you the same thing to type into the calculator. Okay, so then 17, 19, and 21, in the direction say solve each triangle, in each case C is 90 degrees. If the angle information is given in degrees and minutes, Make sure that your answers are the same way. If given in decimal degrees, do likewise in answers. When two sides are given, give the angles in degrees and minutes. So I'm gonna start with this first one. Okay, if I drew a triangle, and this would be C, I could put A and B anywhere I want. A is 28 degrees here, and side C is 17.4. So I gotta find side A and side B and angle B. Angle B, I'm gonna find by doing 90 minus 28, and that's 62 degrees. And then I wanna find A, side A, using the original information. So angle A is 28, opposite it is A, and the hypotenuse here is 17.4, opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So the sine of 28 equals A over 17.4, and then I multiply both sides by 17.4, 17.4 times the sine of 28. And I get that A is 18.168, which rounds to 18.17. Then the last thing missing from this triangle is side A, or sorry, side B. So I wanna stick with the original information, angle A and hypotenuse, B would be adjacent. So cosine of 28, would equal B over 17.4, multiply 17.4 on both sides, and I get 17.4 times the cosine of 28, and that gives me B is 15.363, which rounds to 15.36. Okay, looking at number 19 now. Again, I wanna set up a triangle. C's in the corner. I can put A and B in either corner, doesn't matter as long as I label it correctly. B is 73, side B is 128. So I'm missing angle A, side A, and side C. Angle A, I can find by doing 90 minus 73, and I get 17 degrees. And then I wanna use the information that's given. So B, opposite it would be also B, and then if I wanna find A, that's adjacent. So I would do the tangent of 73 equals opposite, which is 128, over adjacent, which is A, and then shortcut here is take this and divide it by this. 128 divided by the tangent of 73. And I get A equals 39.13, so 39.1 when rounded to the nearest tenth. And then I wanna find side C, so I still use the original information, which is opposite. Now this is the hypotenuse, 
which would be sine. So sine of 73 equals opposite 128 over hypotenuse, which is C. C would equal 128 divided by the sine of 73. And I get C is 133.84 or 133.8. So the, the answers here are a little all over place. Some of them are rounded to the nearest whole number. Some of them to the nearest tenth. On the test, it will be very descriptive of what you need to round to. Okay, last one here is 21. So 21, again, we want to draw... Our triangles, A, C is the right angle, B. This time we're given both sides, 76.4 and 39.3. So I can find the missing side by doing A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 39.3 squared plus 76.4 squared gives me 7,381.45. And that's C squared, so I square root both sides. And I get 85.9 for side C. Now to get the angles, this is where those reciprocal um, or the inverse trig functions come into play. So let's say I want to find A. 76 is opposite. 39 is adjacent. So it would be the tangent of A equals 76.4 over 39.3. Uh, and in the calculator, we do inverse tangent, 76.4 divided by 39.3. So second tangent, 76.4 divided by 93.3. And I get angle A is 62.778, so on and so forth. Now in the directions, it said if you're given two sides, you got to give it in degree minute second notation. So we can do where we multiply the decimal times 60 and work backwards, but I'm also going to or continue to um, multiply that out. I'm also going to show you another way that if you have a graphing utility, it's a lot easier. Actually, if you have a scientific, most of them do this. It's a lot easier. So you just have to have a little, find a little button that says arrow DMS. And on a graphing utility, on the graphing utility, it's second angles, which is back to that menu that we use for our degree minutes and our or degrees and minutes, that fourth thing in the row says arrow DMS. And most scientific calculators also have this underneath the trig menu or underneath the angle menu. I hit enter here and I just hit enter and it's going to convert it into degree minute second notation. So this is exact. It would be 62 degrees and 46 minutes, 43.7 seconds. But let's say we had rounded this 62.8 and then done the same thing. That's where the answer, actually it's closer, but it's still, the, the one given in the book was clearly rounded at some point, okay? And we don't know which one. So again, if this was on your test and it asked you to put it in degree minute second notation, this would be on the part that, um, that you can use, the solving of the triangles is on the part where you can use your um, calculator. Um, the just conversion like the one you did on the quiz you'll use the you know four function calculator but if you had a, the choice of calculators you could also use this way and the the degrees and the minutes could be a little bit off depending on when you round all right so now let's say we're given now we want to find angle b i can do 90 minus this so 90 minus and if i go back up here and hit enter it's going to give it to me again in decimal degree. I go second, apps to the angles menu, hit the arrow DMS, and it's going to convert it back into degree minute second notation for me. Now, again, notice this is a little bit off of the one that was in the book. That just depends on when it's rounded. As long as the, as long as the um, degrees and the, the minutes are close, it's okay. All right, that's the assignment for 5-4, and that had a little bit of 5-3 in the calculator work. I hope that answers any questions. Obviously, if you need some additional help, please just reach out. Have a great day.